Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Arkansas Outdoor Adventure Training again. It's good to see you. Uh, today we're going to be talking about something simple that I keep in my bug out bag. Uh, the rat trap. A lot of people ask me uh, why do you keep a rat trap in your in your bug out bag. The simple reason, my kids, uh, as you can tell by watching some of my videos, I've got six kids and my kids are pretty involved with the survival thing. But what I've noticed is uh, it's frustrating for kids to uh, to try to set snares and build figure four deadfalls things like that you build up a figure four deadfall and you get it just the way you want it and then uh, the next thing you know wind blows it falls over so you know traps like that homemade snares fairly difficult uh, what the rat trap will do is it'll catch a squirrel it'll catch uh, rabbits snakes rats mice I always go for the Victor brand. I don't buy the cheap ones. You can get cheap ones at the flea markets or whatever, but do not go for the cheap ones. The cheap ones are, are terrible. They can malfunction and they can actually hurt you instead of helping you. Uh, and what I've done with mine, if you'll notice I've got uh, paracord wrapped on mine. One thing that that does is it keeps it from being so noisy Two, got a little hole drilled in the corner right here. Got my paracord through there, tied off. That way I can stake it off or I can tie it in case I catch something big, you know, a good sized squirrel or something like that. It's not going to just drag it away. Uh, like I said, rat traps easy to set. Pretty much everybody knows how to set one, and they are a 90% producer when it comes to rats, squirrels, things like that. Plus, you can hear them go off. Make sure that you go for the good Victor brand. Another thing that you have when you have a, a rat trap, I'll try to get this as good as I can, is you have dry wood for tinder. Make a nice tinder bundle. You scratch that off and you can see where you get uh, where you get some of the small little pieces. You can even use this for a fireboard for your bow drill if you need to. So simple, easy to use, effective, readily available, and they're cheap. Rat traps, uh, they don't take up much room and there are several uses that you can use it for. Uh, also today I want to say thanks to uh, Southern Bell Prepper. She gave us a shout out and we've uh, seen a lot of her subscribers here on our channel and if you guys have any suggestions about uh, about what you'd like to see from us, different videos, things like that. Summertime in Arkansas is coming up here pretty soon. We'll be able to get out and do a lot of stuff. So once again, shout out to Southern Southern Bell Prepper. Uh, check her out. She's got a lot of great content. She's very smart. Uh, watch, uh, watch some of her videos and you'll know what I'm talking about when I say she's pretty smart. Uh, a lot of good uh, primitive living skills, uh, you know, canning, things like that. Plus, just uh, some of the things that she talks about, some of the uh, some of the stuff that's going on out there right now. Catch her why felons should have guns or why felons should be allowed to have guns. Video. I think you'll be surprised at what you hear. Thanks, guys, and you uh, come back and see us.